Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another closet clean out video. I love making these videos and I'm definitely due for another closet clean out. I've done a few of these on my channel before, but my closet is getting pretty full and with things I don't wear that often. So I want to go through the entire thing to get rid of some stuff. I definitely feel motivated to get rid of plenty of things. There's just so many times that I'm going through my clothes and I'm just not picking out pieces that I'm just keeping for no reason. So I really want to go through and start eliminating some of those and really just stick to the basics that I'm wearing all the time or um, kind of more stable pieces that won't go out of style and I can use years and years from now. So like I said, I've done this quite a few times already, but we are due for another closet clean out. I've run out of hangers, so that was my sign that I need to clean out my closet. Rather than buy more hangers, I want to get rid of some things to just keep the amount of hangers because there's no reason that I would need to buy any more clothes than I have. So I really want to stick to that and start getting rid of things as I'm buying new things or just eliminating some stuff in general. So I usually just pull out sections of my closet at a time and I'm going to go through them, see what I want to keep and what I might want to get rid of. I always think that I have things that I love and wear in my closet, but every time I'm picking on an outfit, I always kind of go for the same things. So hopefully we can get rid of quite a bit today. So here's the current state of my closet. Definitely not bad and still really organized. But like I said, I've run out of hangers. Some of these things are doubled on hangers, so we still need to go through it for sure. Um, I'm probably not going to go through my husband's clothes, but my portion is all of this down here and this long rack for pants and dresses. So all of this we're going to go through section by section. Not sure if I'll get to the shoes. I actually think I went through those pretty recently, but the bulk of these clothes that need to be sorted. So I think I'm going to start with my pants and skirts. That whole left section, I can barely even stick hangers in there anymore because it's so packed. So I definitely want to try and clear that out. And they should be all of them. I'm just going to take the whole section out rather than my color for now. Um, just because it's all kind of condensed in one place. Starting with my black items. This is just a long maxi skirt. I do usually grab this because it's the only thing I have of its like kind. And I do have quite a bit of leather pants. These are actually my only black leather leggings and they're pretty comfortable. So I like to keep those for the winter. I have two pairs of black like dress pants, trousers if you will. These are like a wider leg. And these are kind of tapered. I do grab both of these quite a bit, especially because they're black. I'm wearing that a lot, especially for work. I do think I'm gonna be keeping a lot of my pants since they're all kind of unique and I only have like one or two of each kind. Um, so I think I have some pretty good staple pieces for pants. I just wore these recently. These are like my go-to leather wide leg pants. And then I have one more pair of leather. These aren't necessarily leggings, but they're like a tighter trouser so i do like having a brown option i have two pairs of houndstooth pants these are again straighter and these are almost like a wide leg boot cut i just wore these the other day and i wear these pretty often too i think i might prefer these i've also had them a lot longer um they're a good staple but like i said i also just wore these the other day so it is good to have options especially for work i like to keep a lot of my trouser pants this is not going great so far i haven't gotten rid of one thing but like i said i did expect this for the pants my dresses for sure i'm gonna get rid of some and definitely my tops these are some of my favorite trousers from zara just a nice wide leg gray holding on to those these are kind of iffy i think these are also from zara they're green kind of like straight leg pants they're really comfortable but they almost like fit weird in the back. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like big and baggy. So I'm not sure I'm crazy about the fit, but they're my only color like this. It's not my favorite thing to wear, but I might hold on to them still. I maybe shouldn't have even gone through this section because I figured I would keep a lot. Another go-to pant for me, it's kind of like a rust color. I think these are from Nasty Gal. I've had these forever. They're like tried and true for work. And then these are a shorter tan color. The more I'm looking at these, I really need like all these options. Maybe, debatable, I probably could get rid of the green ones, but there's no harm in having like one pair of kind of each color. This is like a go-to satin skirt for me, like in the summertime, um, or even if I just need to dress up an outfit, I like to pull this skirt. This one's more out there, but I do find myself using this for kind of like a statement skirt with just like a plain top. Um, again, more for the summertime. And I always go through this with my closet. I'm like, I feel like I should get rid of things because it's not that season right now, but I know I'm going to wear it next year. So I usually hold on to it. This is also my favorite pair of like cream colored trousers. I wear these a lot. You know what? I don't think I'm getting rid of one pair of pants. I'm looking at the rest of the stack and I really just wear these all the time. So hopefully eliminating some of my dresses will give me more room. But I love having just like a straight tan these are really comfy too i just recently got these like parachute pants love to wear these out i think these are from pretty little thing as well as white linen pants another staple i shouldn't have even gone through the section because 
love these for work i'm gonna keep these and i actually just bought these for my halloween costume um but i feel like i can wear them to work too so i just bought these so i don't want to get rid of them and that was terrible i didn't get rid of one single thing but i will for some i promise I do think that's a pretty modest selection for pants, not gonna lie. For that to basically be it, all of my pants like in one stack. I am gonna go through dresses now, which I know I'm gonna find some to get rid of here. And I actually think I'm gonna do this the opposite way because I just accidentally flipped all of my pants. I have them color coordinated, so that just like turned everything around. This dress I do think I'm gonna get rid of. I've had it for a while. Um, I definitely wore it a lot in college, but it kind of has some like pilling on it and I really just don't wear this style that much, especially a short dress like this. My problem is I always picture like what costumes I could wear for this or if I needed it for like a themed event. But then I tell myself if I really need something, I'll buy it at that time and I can't just like hold on to things because I think I might use it for something that has a theme. So that's my internal problem and I can't do that anymore. I gotta stop. So this is gonna get taken out. This dress I do like, I think I got this pretty recently and I like it for the summer as well as this one. I wore this on our honeymoon and I do like it for summer as well. Just like a strapless longer dress. This is one of my favorite like shorter kind of tight dress. I think this is from Zara. I do reach for this one. This I might get rid of. I don't love the fit of this if I remember correctly. And it's kind of like an awkward shape and material. It's like a long puffy sleeve, but it's kind of like a stiff cotton. I might put this on like a maybe pile and just try it on. Cause you know, we always have to have a maybe pile. This is my go-to t-shirt dress for like a pool cover up. I use it kind of a lot. It's not like the cutest, most stylish thing, but I just have found it easy. So I feel like there's no hurt in keeping this, even though I feel like I have some other things I could use as like a cover up. I have a lot of white from my wedding, which is almost two years ago now, but I kept all of my dresses that I wore throughout that season. I'm not sure if I would wear this again though. It's not my favorite and I feel like I would need to try it on because I'm not sure if I really like the fit and I think it was kind of cheap. But this one I do like. This was not from wedding season. It's just another white dress, but I love this for summer and also it could be a cover up because it's kind of beachy. This I think I'm gonna get rid of. This was, I think I wore this on my bachelorette trip, but there's really no use for this for me anymore. I never am gonna need like a white party dress like this, I don't think. I think I would grab something different. I and mean, then I also think I had to like pin it or sew it kind of weird. It wasn't the best fit um, and I've never grabbed it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. This one is debatable. I think, I definitely like this better than the other one but I don't think I'm gonna wear it again. I think I wore this for like a bridal brunch and it's really cute. It has like the separate sleeves like this and it's kind of frilly and girly, but there's like nothing I'm ever needing this kind of dress for. And I, if I did, I don't think I would pick a white one. It's just not my favorite thing. I think I might decide between this or the other white satin dress. So I'll leave it there for now. I always forget I have a white kind of like t-shirt dress. I really don't wear this that often, but I feel like maybe I should. But that also is my problem with these closet cleanouts. I say I'm gonna wear it, so I hold on to it, and then the cycle continues, and I never wear it, and I forget about it. But I think I have like three t-shirt dresses now, I'm thinking about it, and I feel like the white and like tan one I would wear more often than this green. So maybe I get rid of this one, even though I grab it all the time. I have like so many other options, and that's the only reason I use this for going to the pool. Um, so for that reason, I feel like I shouldn't necessarily hold on to it. So that just took a pretty big turn, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I've had it forever and I'd rather hold on to one that has like a little more structure that I feel like I could use for other things. This is like a sweater dress with a little tie belt. I do like this for the winter time. Um, so I'm probably gonna hold on to this for like holiday events. And this is my dress rehearsal dress for my wedding. I'm definitely holding on to this one. This was like the nicest, most high quality dress that I bought. I kind of just bought cheap dresses for like the little events, but this is a nice kind of high neck, really good quality, almost like an off-white. Um, so it's good to have for like a longer gown option. I do like this dress from Abercrombie. It's just like a knit bodycon dress, but I wore this last summer and I'm sure that I'll wear it again. On the other hand, I'm not so sure about this one. I got this from H&M and I think I wore it on our last cruise. I'm not crazy about the fit. I feel like it never really fit me right. And I think I definitely want to try this on because I don't remember loving it, but I might just check to see. I just recently got this from Banana Republic and I'm excited to wear it. Love that style. And this is that other t-shirt dress that's kind of like a tan color. I also wear this to the pool, so I think that this will suffice for getting rid of that green one. I might get rid of this. This was like a button-up dress, kind of looked like a trench coat, but had like a tie belt to be a dress. I think it's too short to wear as a dress, honestly, and it kind of always was. Um, I thought I would keep it to wear as like an overshirt, but I never grab it and I have other jackets that I think I like better. I do like that it's lightweight, but I really never reach for it. I think my mind goes to wearing a jacket first. I might try on just to see, just because I like the idea of wearing it over a shirt, but I just never think to do so. 
somehow I've never taken the tags off of this. Um, this is another like sweater dress. I guess I'll see if I wear this this winter because I feel like that would be a nice kind of like long sleeve dress to have. This is like a snakeskin pattern silk um, like cow neck dress. I do like to grab this for more of like a pattern dress. This dress might have had its moment. It's kind of just a plain like bodycon long sleeve but some of my other long sleeve dresses I think I prefer. It is a good like winter staple and I wore it last Christmas I think so this could be cute. This is kind of like a maybe. I don't get a ton of use out of it so I'm gonna say maybe for now. This dress is pretty cute. It's very simple but it's nice for if I need to dress up a little bit. It's a very comfy like short sleeve satin shift dress. I got this somewhat recently at H&M, I believe. Just a nice casual summer dress. I do like this one. I've always held on to this kind of like rouge, tighter gray dress. I'm not sure if it's my favorite thing and I never really reach for it. Um, I usually wear it with like a blazer or something over it. I probably get as much use out of this as I do the last one I just showed. So I think I'll debate both of those. I held on to this. I think I wore it for like one of our engagement shoots and I thought I could wear it for like a New Year's or something, but to only really keep it for that reason, I'm not sure I need it. But I also really like the fit of this and I feel like it's okay to have like one or two kind of like themey out there things in your closet just in case and I do like how this fits. So I could imagine wearing this to something fancy enough. I just never think to. So I feel like I need to just think more in like the dresses category because I'm like never thinking to wear the dresses that I have. I do like the fit of this kind of like halter neck. Um, rouged one. So I do get use out of that. I think I've only worn this once. This was supposed to be my senior formal dress and it got canceled. Um, but I ended up wearing it to a work event, like one of our galas that we have, but I don't think I'll wear it again, honestly. If I'm going to keep either of the sparkly dresses, I think I want the short one, but it's also good to have like longer gowns. I'm not really sure like what I might need things for, but then again, like I said, I could go buy something I probably like better. This is my only black like satin dress. It has like a slit on the side. I also just kind of forget to wear this, but it's a good thing to have as a basic. I like this long sleeve sweater kind of dress. It has like a skirt and ties here for the cutouts, so I do wear that pretty often. This is one of my other fancier gowns that I think I've had since high school, but it actually still fits me, barely. I also wore this for a work gala, and I'm not sure I'd wear this again. Some of the rhinestones are coming off, and I think if anything I should put this with like my prom dress, because I wore it, I think I wore it for like homecoming court. So this is more just like a memory dress and I think it needs to just go somewhere else. That being said, I'm not sure about this one because this is my only other kind of like nicer-ish gown. I feel like I might hold on to it since I do have a few other ones to kind of debate between. I only have a few pairs of like hanging shorts and then we'll move on to the tops. I have a black leather pair, black cotton and also like a tan. I actually get pretty good use out of both of these. I would maybe like to get a new pair for my tan shorts because I'm not crazy about the fit, but it's what I have for now. And I will get rid of this, but I actually just use this for a costume. So I always tell myself this isn't too bad to hold on to, especially because I just used it actually twice in the past couple weeks, um, just with like Halloween coming up. So I feel like this is the one thing I have to keep costume wise. And that does it for the shorts. Here's my first section of tops. They're kind of like nudes, tan, peach colored. Um, so we're gonna go through that now. This is that section of color and then I have it in order of like tank top, short sleeve, long sleeve. This used to be a really good basic, but I actually don't grab it that much. I have some other tank tops that I think I prefer. It's really a good basic, but I'm just never grabbing it. I think I'll put it in a maybe based on what I keep. This is my only kind of like corset bodysuit looking top that I do actually pull out quite often. This is one of those tank tops that I prefer. It's a little bit looser. This is from Zara, so I will hold on to this. It's pretty new. These are two kind of like halter tops. I definitely like this one. It's a bodysuit and I pull that one more than this one, but I have worn this quite a bit with other outfits. This one might be a maybe for now too. I have two similar kind of like t-shirts in the same color. This is more just like a casual crop top and this is a bit more structured. I do wear this one quite a bit even like to work. This is almost a little too casual to wear. I've thrown it on with like athleisure, but I don't do it that often and I have like other kind of crop tops like this. So I think this is gonna be a maybe, um, again, depending on the other things I keep. I feel like I have to get rid of this. I have kept this for like four closet cleanouts, thinking I was gonna wear it and the tag is still on it. It's from Forever 21 and I think I, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's cute. I just don't wear this kind of top ever. I always forget it's there. I never wanna make an outfit with it. But I'm looking at it, I'm like, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know why I always forget about it and the tag is still on the shirt after like three years. I want it to be a maybe, but I feel like I'm never gonna wear it and I should just put it in the no pile. It's a nice neutral bodysuit from Abercrombie. I'm gonna keep that. I have a few like, turtleneck this is like almost a turtleneck kind of tops this is good for just like a layering piece in the winter 
This one I actually kind of use a lot. I like the structure to it. It makes it like a little bit more detail if I need to wear a long sleeve. Big chunky sweater. I think I only got this last year, so I'll definitely want to wear it again this year. I have so many cardigans that I feel like I need to kind of like weed through. It's not my favorite fit. Um, so I think I might try this on or consider getting rid of it. One of my go-to button-up shirts and just like a tan neutral color. And I have these two jackets. I haven't taken the tags off this Topshop one, but I do really want to wear it this season. I think I was opting for this one a lot. I feel like they're different enough. I don't really want to get rid of either of them. Um, even though I don't wear jackets a ton in Florida, but it's good to have options. I knew that section I was going to keep quite a bit just because it's like a lot of my neutrals. I just pulled like some various colors, yellow, orange, red, green, blue. Um, because this is as much color as I have in my closet, so it's all in one section. And I think there's a few of these that I'm going to definitely get rid of. This shirt, I couldn't even, like, tell you how to do it anymore. I wore it, like, once or twice in college, I think. And it's just one of those, like, wrap tops that are just too complicated to even figure out. So I feel like I'm just going to get rid of it because I never take it out. I never want to deal with it. The color is not my favorite. So that one's going. This one's not so bad. This is, like, an orange satiny look i definitely like this one better and i feel like i could get some use out of it this shirt was actually gifted to me and i wanted to keep it wanted to see if i could wear some more color like this for the summer kind of have fun with it i didn't get to and i almost did but i think i might just keep it through the summer to see if i'll wear it it's a little out of my comfort zone but i do like the color i think it could be fun so i might just hold on to it for a little bit longer especially because it was gift i just bought this somewhat recently at express it's actually not my favorite thing so i don't know why i bought it it's kind of just like basic to me um i feel like it could work with certain outfits good to just have like some nicer tank tops so i feel like i'll hold on to it for now as much as it's nice to just have a plain kind of like maroon red sweater i never wear this i definitely did in kind of like college days and it has ties on the side um on the sleeves with like these little rings it's not my favorite style and i have other sweaters i like better so I can confidently, I think, get rid of that one now. The shirt was two shirts on one hanger since I had run out. Um, I just picked this up at the mall the other day from Express. I like this. It's kind of like a halter, uh, nicer tank top. So I am going to keep it. This is a pretty solid button-up shirt I like to wear. It's like a satin green color. Oh, I forgot I have this flannel. I just picked up another one. It's kind of like a black color and this was one that i wore a lot before that i only have one other flannel and i do like the color of this one so i think i'll keep it i held on to this like sweater long sleeve shirt because i thought i would use it um I, well you can't even really use it for layering because it's like tied in the front um so i would kind of have to wear this by itself and i don't really love the like cropped kind of short sleeve sweater look anymore and i never really grabbed this it's fine there's nothing wrong with it but i just know i never wear it so i think that one's gonna go see we're making progress i was worried at first but there th there are some things denim jacket i never really use but it's a good staple to have it's the only one i have just in case something comes up that i need one this is another shirt i keep thinking i'll wear and then i don't i love the like stripes and the look of the button up but the sleeves are just really poofy i thought that i liked that when i bought it and then i don't think i've worn it one time as much as i'd like to put it in the maybe i feel like i need to just get rid of it and then just get a real button up that looks like this with the stripes so i feel like i would wear that a lot more than something with puppy sleeves like this and that's why i never grab it i think i'm gonna try it on just because because i do like it but i'm sure i'm gonna get rid of it i bought this tank top this summer i actually don't think i wore it maybe once um but i do want to incorporate a little more color into just like my summer tank top so i'll hold on to that another double hanger this is just a navy tank top from abercrombie that i bought somewhat recently so Thought it would be a good staple and also this cardigan that i bought for this season i've already been wearing it a ton so that one i'm gonna hold on to for sure here are some of my whites not to be confused with a cream and off-white that's a whole separate section and the majority of my closet but there might be some kind of mixed in here but the majority of these are more like true white this tank top i get a good use out of my plain kind of basic. I wore this for bachelorette something. I held on to it in case I needed it again for kind of like costume purposes. I would never probably wear this by itself. I almost wore it recently so that's another one I'm probably just gonna hold on to in case. This is kind of like a cross halter that I actually wear quite a bit. A lot of my white clothes I'm going to be keeping because I wear them all the time. I just bought this recently from Express. Just a fun little one shoulder tank top. Here's one of those cropped t-shirts that I kind of feel like I grab more than the other one. Maybe not so much anymore because I have some other white t-shirts. It's almost like too cropped for me and I'm not like actually super into wearing crop t-shirts anymore. Um, I actually want to put that in the maybe even though it's a really good basic. This is kind of like a t-shirt but it has little shoulder pads. I just like this better. It's a little more structured 
and I feel like it's the same idea as that and I can also like wear this to work. Another white t-shirt, this one has like rouged ties on the side. I actually don't love this anymore. I think I debated it in the past and then I wore it like one time after this. I'm not mad about letting that go. One of my favorite kind of long sleeve white shirts. It's probably getting kind of dingy now. I've had it forever. It's really soft, but I wear it quite a bit. This shirt, I'm not sure I'll wear another bridal outfit. I think I wore this when I picked up my wedding dress. So it is really sweet and sentimental, but I just don't really wear this type of shirt that often on my own. I also kept it a few times thinking I would, but it's just really not my go-to style. I'm going to put it in the maybe, but I know it's probably going away. This is my sheer white button up that I've worn forever, except I just bought this one from H&M that's pretty similar. Um, both of them are kind of on the sheer side. They're not like completely solid. I feel like they serve different purposes, but I also would pick this over this one, I think. I want to say they're different, but I feel like I don't need both. Definitely want to keep this one that I just bought. I'm not crazy about the way it gathers here on the side. I think I'm going to put it in the maybe so I can compare. This I'm definitely keeping, but I'm going to keep them together so I can look at them side by side. I feel like I wore this a pretty good amount in the past winter seasons. It's kind of like a thick bandage long sleeve shirt. It's not my favorite. I feel like I would only wear this for like a nicer event. Um, and I'm not sure that I will. That might be a maybe. I, I can't remember the last time I've even worn it. Same with this like long sleeve white shirt. I used to wear this so often, especially in college. It's kind of like this asymmetrical cut like sweater shirt. So it makes wearing a long sleeve shirt just a little bit nicer. I feel like I don't grab it that often lately. It's kind of a plain basic, but I'm never really going for that cut. I think I'm gonna put that in the maybe. This is just a plain like long sleeve. The other one was V-neck, so this is more like a scoop neck. It's almost like a thermal. I feel like I don't really wear this. I feel like I'm either doing a thinner long sleeve or sweater. This is kind of like a weird in between. It's going in the maybe. I do like the striped sweater I picked up from Abercrombie this year. I also wear this quite a bit um, as like a long sleeve if I want kind of like a statement top with the cutout here. This Victoria's Secret sweater has lived on forever. I actually still grab it to this day. Just a nice slouchy, bigger knit sweater. Good for the beach, like a cover up. And I have this white hoodie again that I always forget about. I never really throw it on. I feel like I should and I could. There's just like always other like sweatshirts I'm putting on first. I feel like I should keep it. I kind of want to put in the maybe, but I'll hold on to it for now. And here's that other section, more of like the off-white cream colored. I have this little fuzzy vest. Um, I'm not sure if I'll wear it. I do think it's cute, but I'm usually going for like a scarf or something. I put this on the maybe, um, but I do like this kind of like thicker. It's cropped, but I like this almost like teddy coat jacket. I usually wear this when it gets cold. This tank top I surprisingly grab a lot. It's so old. I think I'm forever 21 but I grab it for work a lot if I need like a longer tank top with like leggings. Honestly with this outfit like a cardigan, leggings, and a longer tank top I'll wear. I bought this this summer. Just a nice striped tank top. Definitely on trend. As well as this like kind of button up corset from Abercrombie. I like that one too. Somehow I still grab the shirt even though I don't super love it. I actually just wore it the other day. The rouge on the side isn't really my favorite but I, I feel like it kind of works with this tank top. I um, mean it's also like a nicer material uh, from Express. So they're really great at making more like nicer feeling and look to their tank tops. Ugh, I want to get rid of more from this section but I wear a lot of it including at this little vest tank top. I wear that all the time. This one, not so much. I might have worn this once. It's like a one shoulder knit. I would like to wear this more often, but I just never think to. I do think it's really cute, but I might have to debate that. There's another kind of like halter tank top. This is another complicated one, but not as complicated as the one I got rid of. So I do sometimes like to wear that. I have two kind of like similar shape shirts. Um, this one I do wear to work quite a bit. It's just a nice satin. This one I've had forever. It's more like a beachy, like light linen. Actually, I might keep this too. I feel like I'm gonna keep a lot in this section. This is like my favorite color and like most worn. I also have some like tan kind of thrown in here. Just bought this from Banana Republic. Love those kinds of shirts for work. Plain t-shirt. I was wearing this earlier actually. Just good to throw on. But no, I don't have another one this color, so I like it. I wear this crew neck all the time. This is definitely like a big used um, section. I bought this like jacket kind of jacket this past year maybe or maybe like this summer I think it was like on sale for I was buying it for this winter and fall I haven't had a chance to wear it yet but I do really like it I really didn't need any more jackets like that maybe I should get rid of that other 
like teddy coat kind of. I just bought this recently. Nice striped sweater shirt. And now these are my two kind of like cream colored sweaters. This one's Free People and I think this is from like Tar or TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I feel like I don't need both. I definitely want to keep the Free People one. Um, but I feel like they're so similar that maybe I can get rid of this one, even though I think I did just wear it the other day. They're definitely different, but they're also so similar. So I think I'm going to debate this in the maybe pile. This is just a long sleeve, um, not necessarily a crew neck, just like a bigger long sleeve shirt that I do like to throw on. And I do like this cardigan. The other ones I'm kind of like eh about, but this is one of my favorites. Not much went away with this one, but I kind of expected that. I brought back out this coat because I realized I had this like darker kind of teddy coat. And I've had this forever too. I think this one's a little newer. Um, I probably don't need both, especially in Florida. And I already have a bunch of other jackets that I kind of like the style of better. Um, but they're also slightly different colors. And I think I might just go one more season this winter to see if I use this at all. I feel like they're kind of out of style a little bit. But I'm going to go through this winter one more time and see how much I use it. Here is my brown section. Another nicer kind of like satin tank top. I wore this to the Eras Tour this year for my Fearless Era. I don't think I've worn it since then. I think I almost did once. It's pretty good basic to have. I have a few like tank tops and off the shoulder tops that are similar. As much as I want to keep the shirt, every time I put it on, I never wear it like as much as I think I will. It's a nice like tie top but anytime I put it on I'm just like not super comfortable in it it's never what I choose to wear I might try it on but I feel like it's proven itself that I don't want it so I'm just gonna get rid of it I can already tell this pile of like maybes is really gonna turn into a lot of no's I just have a problem getting rid of things obviously these two tank tops are similar a little bit different color but both like a uh, one shoulder tank top I think I honestly go for this one more and I really don't think I usually wear this one and I'm not sure I'll miss it if I get rid of it I feel like I usually want both straps. I'm not really like as much into the one strap anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I haven't worn this in so long. Ugh, I shouldn't make it a maybe, but I want to. The maybe slash no pile that keeps growing. Pretty nice like regular tank top. I think it's from Target. I actually wear that quite a bit. Double hanging tank tops. This one I like a lot. It's like a dark brown like bracer back tank top. I have been wearing this one a lot lately. Good staple. This one's debatable. It kind of has like a weird neck. Um, but I have worn this out a few times. I just feel like I have so many brown tank tops and I hate looking at all of them. This one's a halter from Abercrombie. I think I wore this once or twice. I don't super grab for it, but I do think it's cute. I can see myself wearing this in the summer with like linen pants. I never wear this, but I really should. It's like my best turtleneck kind of tank top. I feel like this is a great basic for work and I always forget to wear it. I just feel like I never like to be confined with a turtleneck like that, especially if it's for a tank top. Like if it's a long sleeve, I can do it. I'm like not getting rid of enough brown. But I also wear it all quite a bit, including this knit um, kind of like longer tank top. I wear that quite a bit. I wear this long sleeve quite a bit. <laughs> Here is that other flannel I was talking about. I do like this one. Another long sleeve, kind of plain shirt a thick sweater that i do like to wear a lot <laughs> maybe i can get rid of this silk satin if you will button up uh since i kept the green one i'm not sure if i need both of these i also like to have like like a full thicker material button up usually not so much these satin ones no i like a lot of these things this button up actually has kind of like a weird stain on it it might not be super noticeable but i might have to think about that I got this long sleeve kind of recently, just like kind of a fun cutout for going out. This is that other cardigan that is similar to the like peach colored one that I'm not crazy about. So this is a maybe. I wore this hoodie quite a bit and this is a puffer that I picked up recently that I think I would like wearing this kind of vest more than that like soft one. So I'm gonna keep that one and think about the other. So here are my grays. I see myself getting rid of more here than I did with the browns. Starting with this tank top. I never pull for this. I don't know why. I just have like other tank tops that I prefer to wear. There's really nothing wrong with it. Again, I just never pull it out. So I could like this though. This is like, I almost debate buying shirts like this. And then I'm like, why don't I remember that I have one in my closet? So I might think about that. I actually try and wear this shirt pretty often. I know I've said I don't care super much for like the rouging, but I like the fit of this one. Um, so I might hold on to that. Shoulder pad tank tops I wear all the time. Like I said, I don't really need a plain gray shirt like this. I actually wore it recently to work for like a casual like weekend event. Um, just it's like a plain t-shirt, which I surprisingly don't have a lot of. 
but I barely wear it and I don't love grabbing it. I don't know, I'm falling into that like think about it, you might wear it, and I know I don't, so I should probably get rid of it. Like it's never really the type of shirt I want to put on. I don't know why. This sweater I think I'm gonna definitely get rid of. Um, it has like tied sleeves, it's cropped, it has bigger sleeves, and I have this like long sleeve gray sweater that I like more and it's got a similar texture. So I've been thinking I want to get rid of this one for a while. So that's easy. And that being said, I'll keep that one. One of my favorite just zip up gray jackets. Gray crew neck, simple. I actually haven't worn this cropped one in a while since I have that bigger one. I'm never as much going for the cropped as I used to. I might think about this, but I don't know why I'm barely ever picking up cropped stuff anymore. I actually forgot about this cardigan. It's nice, but I'm usually wearing this one or that bigger cream one. I might think about it. It's like my least favorite thing that I'm saying right now. <laughs> This is a longer satin button up and I do like it because it's a little bit of a different cut. I just wore this somewhat recently for just like a going out top. It's like a long sleeve with a tie detail. This is a good turtleneck for layering in the winter. I love this like sweater turtleneck thing I got I think last year and I got a stain on it and I don't think it's gonna come out. It's not super noticeable. I wanna hold on to it and hope that it's not. This is just a plain gray, I think it's from Topshop. Like long sleeve, I actually wear this quite a bit. And this is that same jacket I had earlier with my nudes. This is in gray. And one of my go-to blazers. This is actually one of my only blazers, like true blazers. So that was pretty good. I think we're making good progress. We're on to the last section, which are blacks. This is like a satin one shoulder tank top. I actually like that for like a nicer tank top option. I have two, these are different. These are like other kind of casual black tank tops. I like both of those. I think they can both be used for different things. My black shoulder padded shirt. Basic for work. Always hold on to those. One of my other black, or one of my other crop tops I should say. If anything, I'll hold on to this black one and get rid of the white one. Uh, just because if I'm gonna wear a cropped t-shirt, it's usually the black one I think. I have like my one band tee that I feel like I'm never wearing on its own. I feel like it's a good thing to hold on to in case I ever need it, but again, costume thinking, but I never wear band tees really at all. They were like on trend for a little bit. I've had this for a while, kind of like as a going out top. Um, I don't super wear it at all. This might be a maybe for me because I kind of like it in the winter time or if I need something dark, but it's not my favorite. I might get rid of that actually. I just picked up this shirt from H&M. Um, I like it, it's something different. It's kind of like a nicer satin one shoulder. So I want to try out Styling that. This has also been one of my favorite like long sleeve t-shirts this season. Obviously I'm really into stripes right now. So I've been wearing that a ton. Plain black long sleeve basic. I just wore this to work two days ago after not wearing it for like over a year, I'm sure. Um, and I always kind of liked it, but I don't know. It wasn't that comfortable and it's not my favorite style or cut. I feel like I always kept it for like a nicer work top, but it's not really my style. I think I'm gonna have to think about this one. Turtleneck sweater with like some fringe. I love that for winter. I think I'm gonna get rid of this black long sleeve because it has holes in it and it's just kind of old. Um, and I upgraded it with that other one. This is a scoop neck is the only difference, but I think the other one plays the, the same purpose. Oh, I forgot I have that cropped shirt in black as well. Um, yeah, I forgot about this. If I'm gonna keep either, I think I actually want the gray just funny I keep the black t-shirt with the gray cropped crew neck. Maybe I'll look at those together but I don't think I want both if, if anything. My black zip up jacket, good to hold on to those and this is my other blazer that's kind of like a leather, faux leather material and my big black puffer coat. And that's actually all for my hanging clothes. I do have some like jeans and shorts in these drawers. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep a lot of these but it might be worth checking these are kind of um straight fit levi's i might get rid of these these were my, like old forever 21 jeans that had no rips in them but i just recently got some from abercrombie that i think i'm gonna wear more these are my light wash ripped from abercrombie and then these are those ones with no rips so i think i'd rather hold on to those i have some dark wash levi's and also cream colored like Zara, I think these are Zara jeans. These black skinny jeans I might need to get rid of. I used to wear them a lot for work, but they were kind of stretched out and I also like tripped the other day and now there's like a rip in them because I fell right on my knee wearing these. So I think these have just 
have their moment and if I need I've been surviving without them but I'm just due for some new ones if I do want to get more black skinny jeans. These were actually John's Levi's in high school I think and I kept them to wear them as like super oversized baggy black pants. I have more of a true white jean there but those actually are my favorite fit. I might need to try those on but I'm not so worried about my jeans. These aren't really doing any harm. I have another pair of Nasty Gal black jeans. I also don't even know if those fit but I'm gonna keep these in here for now because why not? I don't have an overflow of denim shorts either. I have Levi's. These are some like more light wash, longer shorts. White Levi's. Black. Don't know what brand, but these are just random black shorts, which I never really wear, but they're not doing any harm. And I kept this black denim skirt because you never know when things come back in style and I thought maybe I would hold on to it. A few pairs of gloves, scarves. I think I've been through this a few times. There's nothing I really need to get rid of here. So this is all good to stay. Shoes I can go through really quickly. Um, like I said, I've been through these somewhat recently. So I don't think there's a lot to get rid of. I have some flip flops and slides down here. These are ones I wear all pretty often that are in the front. I held onto these forever thinking they might come back in style. Like this kind of like strappy sandal but I'm not sure they ever will. This like, not like gladiator, oh well, kind of, but they're gross and old and I just don't think I'm ever gonna wear them again. I probably can go ahead and get rid of those because I have not pulled them out like at all. Kind of see back there, I have a few pairs of slides that I usually like to hold on to. These are pretty gross and not in, in great condition. So I might get rid of that. So that actually eliminated a few and I can just keep my go-to Adidas slides, Havianas, Hermes sandals all in the front because I grab those all the time. Should all be pretty good. These are like my heeled sandals and like mules. All of those I wear pretty often. My white sneakers usually go here and they're all downstairs right now because we clean them. And back there I just have some black running shoes, Nike and Converse, which I'll probably never wear ever again and I never get rid of them. But that's like one thing I feel like I can just hold on to in case. All these heels I pretty much wear, maybe not the ones in the back, but they're not really taking up room. It doesn't hurt to hold on to them anyways. So these heels I pretty much wear, maybe not some of the ones in the back, but they're not really taking up room, so might as well leave those for now. Same thing with my boots. Everything kind of has a place. I do want to get some new black booties, but I haven't found any yet, so I'll hold on to those. They're just kind of like old and need an upgrade. Combat boots, taller white boots that I like to wear. And I'm glad I kept, oh yeah, yeah, I kept both pairs of my old riding boots because I had a feeling those were gonna come back in style and now I feel like they definitely are. So I'm glad I held on to those from high school because now they're back. These I can maybe get rid of. These are like the over the knee, like felt boots, which came and went, I'm sure in style. My bags I definitely don't have like excess of. I just have like my couple regular handbags there. And then behind my YSL purse in the box, there's like some backpacks and a big, um, beach tote and maybe one or two other purses, but I know that that's probably good to go. I'm gonna do a quick going through of my drawers. Most of these things I don't think I'll get rid of. Um, this is just like socks, underwear, things that I pretty much use, nothing I need to get rid of. I do have a bunch of like sports bras and tank tops in here that I can maybe get rid of. I wear these pretty often. Just like my Lululemon and then some regular kind of tank top style ones. These Victoria's Secret ones I've held on to forever and I never reach for them like as much as I think I want to, I never do. Um, so I should probably get rid of most of these, if not all of them. I can't remember the last time I took any of these out. I kind of just stick to my main ones that I always wear. Um, I'll go through my tank tops and like, I have some tube tops in here too. I have two black ones, but they're kind of different texture. I think I'll keep both for now black tank top. This is a black like athletic kind of like racerback tank which I never wear but also kind of feel like it's good to have just in case. It's like black and white tube top. I didn't get to wear this summer. I bought it and thought it was cute but haven't worn it yet. Brown tank top, brown strapless bodysuit, tan tank top. These are all like kind of cami tank tops which I actually wear sometimes under like cardigans and stuff. I have two like scarf kind of tops. I like that one. I'm not sure if I'll wear this one. I think I wore this like once, maybe. I'm not sure I'll wear this one, but I do like the one that's kind of like a scarf material. And if not, I can wear it um, in like different ways. That like tie-dye looking one, I'm not 
crazy about. I've held on to this like through college. I think it's from Windsor. Um, I always thought I would like wear it again, but it never really goes with anything I want to wear. And I can't remember the last time I wore it. Same thing with this plain, just like tube tops are not really a thing as much as they used to be. And I also, I'm not crazy about this color. I have a black and white one and I feel like that's all I need. So that can probably go. I have some like tan tank tops, white, and that white tube top, which I do want to hold on to. That actually eliminated quite a bit from that stack. Now it's like all neutrals, no color whatsoever. And I do have a USF like tank top that's just like a racer back that I actually keep just because and then I can put these back in. That actually made quite a bit of room in there. And here I have like PJs and athletic shorts, some other pants and stuff. So these are all like leggings I want to keep. Lululemon, my like airy flared leggings, Lulu shorts. I have my um, little like skirt I just bought from Lululemon, which is super cute. I need to wear it more often. I have some like biker shorts back here that aren't really taking up room. I have some like um, cotton shorts like these, as well as some knit kind of like beach shorts, which I wear all of those. I also have some like flowy pants. I kind of forgot about these. I never see these in here. I wish that I could hang all of these, but I didn't have the room. Now I might have a little bit of room, but these are all just more like drawer pants that I keep in there. And I've gone through my t-shirts quite a bit just to get rid of some like sleeping shirts. So I think that drawer is good. Down here I just have sweatpants and I wear every pair of these. I just have black, brown, gray, cream, and white. And I do have some hoodies and stuff in here, but I actually wear those a lot too. Those are all my like school, some of my college hoodies and crewnecks um, that don't take up too much room and sometimes I just throw them on when I'm lounging around the house. So I don't think we did too bad. This is our get rid of pile and a pretty big maybe pile. But like I said, I think a lot of these are gonna go as well. So something is better than nothing. Even getting rid of these items, I think will help my closet a lot. And a lot of these are probably gonna go with them. Just sorted through my maybe pile and I narrowed everything down. This is the stuff I decided to keep and I'm getting rid of all of that. So majority is definitely going away. I did decide to keep a few things, but all of this was a no. That's all for this closet clean out. Like I said, I think we made some good progress. It was good to just kind of go through everything I had and get rid of things little by little as I usually do. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.